Thank you. Maybe a bit louder. Pump it up. Here we go. So you know. Tiny tape out. A silly whiz. I tell you. I tell you what it is. I say tiny. You say tape out. Tiny. Tiny. Drop down the gate. Split up the well, design rule check, so we keep a parallel. Layers insulate when I heat them oxidize. Fourteen element, cubic crystallized, illuminate the shape. Etch the mask, then the laser light gets blocked, it can't pass. Lithography, kind of like photography. Duplicate design, perfectly, no anomaly. <sighs> Diffusion, doping, PN junction. Holes are ready, so electrons jump in. Nanoscopic switch, Giga has healed. Comes to life with electric field. Distribute, resist when the wafers are spun. Implant. And should accelerate a gun Rinse and repeat in the fab till it's done Fifty layers deep bill one by one It's silly whiz I tell you, I tell you, I tell you what it is Lithography, kinda like photography Typically design perfectly, no anomaly I say tiny, you say tape out Tiny, tiny Thank you This is silly whiz Here we go That was how I ended my lightning talk at Hackaday Berlin, one of my favourite events of the year. Unfortunately, the rest of the talk wasn't recorded, so here it is again. Enjoy. So, we had some bad news. Efabless, who was a very central part of the open source silicon community, sadly passed away. End of life. And that affects us and the rest of the open source silicon community very dramatically. They've really made a huge impact and enabled a lot to happen. We used to use them for all of our tape outs. And so, how do we go forwards from this? Are we still going to be able to sell chips, cheap as chips? Are we still going to be able to run amazing workshops with hundreds of people? Are we still going to be able to honour our relationships and partnerships with all these illustrious institutions? Are we going to be able to deliver the chips we had in flight that contained hundreds of designs representing thousands of hours of effort? And are we still going to allow makers to continue to make the best chips in the world? Well, what I want to say is keep calm and make ASICs. That's the central message of today. And as my good friend Marcus Aurelius says, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. By being blocked at the foundry level, we're forced to find more foundries to work with. And once we have more foundries on board, we're going to be able to offer an even better product. So I think this is an opportunity to actually advance the game. There's so much momentum and energy in the open source semiconductor community, we can take it even further. I'm very happy to say that we've already got a new foundry partner, IHP Microelectronics. Thanks very much to ETH Zurich, CCAM, EPFL and Swiss Chips for making that happen. We've got three tape outs already scheduled for this year and just recently we got our first test chips back and not only do they look beautiful, they work. So, we're going to continue to do the impossible. When I talk to people in Silicon Valley, they often don't believe what we can do. We say, we can do large-scale trainings, we can do 100 people tape out in an afternoon. And they're like, no, 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 you can't even install the tools in an afternoon. And we're like, we don't even bother installing the tools, we run them in the cloud. Another example is that our team was able to port hundreds of digital designs on tiny tape out 9 and 10 to a different PDK in just a few days, unheard of in the industry. We will continue to build on our progress so far, supporting microelectronics education and workforce development. And I want to end on some exciting news. We're soon going to take part in a different kind of shuttle. We're going to be sending our ASICs into space. SpaceX! If you put your design on a tiny tape out ASIC, you'll soon have the opportunity to test it in space. So what's the call to action? Subscribe, like and ring the bell. Thanks very much.